Bro, internet addiction is such a rough problem, bro. I know how it feels. And I actually respect you for wanting to change because a lot of people, believe it or not, they don't want to change. They like being in that comfort and just staying in that little ball of weakness and comfort and not really doing anything else in their life. But I know you can actually do stuff. I know you have potential. I know you can, you know, succeed and get all the benefits in life. But this internet addiction just holds you back so much. And in this one, just this one video, you will finally break free from it. And you'll actually add up so many hours in your day. A quick thing you can do literally right now as you're watching this video, which cut the amount of time I was on social media by at least 50% literally is to uninstall every app and thing on your phone. Uninstall Instagram. You're not going to tap on Instagram as a habit. You're not going to see it on your phone. And then when you don't see it on your phone, you're like, shoot, like, all right, I guess I got to do something else. And maybe, yeah, okay, maybe you're still going to reinstall it. But it just adds so much more friction to actually just spending so much time on it. Because imagine you uninstall it and then you're like all right i'm finally done and then it's like okay it's not on my phone it's like a reminder that you shouldn't be on instagram right and then when you finally get some urge to go on instagram which is eventually going to happen because like we've been going on social media and stuff for years of her life we're kind of addicted low-key <laughs> when you try to install it again you have to like wait for it to download you have to log in again you have to do the two-factor authentication thing there's like so many more steps now instead of just tapping the button you instantly added like five four more extra steps that take like 20 minutes to get back into your social media account and then if you just keep doing that like every time okay you scroll for 30 minutes you're done you want to do something else with your life just uninstall it again literally just keep uninstalling it. every time you install it just think about like why is this even on my phone like, why is Instagram on my phone? Like, get, get, delete it. I'm trying to not waste my potential. I'm trying to waste my life. Seriously, like, this fast win, it literally takes 30, five seconds to just hold it, uninstall. Literally do it right now. And then, like, it's not in your face. You can't do it out of a habit. You have to intentionally go out your way and then just uninstall it every time. Like, this is actually, like, the easiest thing, bro. It's so easy to do and... You just cut so many hours of your day wasted into social media, man. Like, honestly, do this right now, please. The next thing I want to say to stop your social media addiction is to only use one social media. Seriously, like, you probably have multiple social medias. Like, I know all of them. Like, when I when I see their phone at school for a half second and they're on their homepage, I see, like, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, blah, 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 blah. Just a million, a bunch of different social media apps. And like, of course they're gonna be on their phone the whole time. Of course they're not gonna like wanna do anything in their life. Cause it's just all on their phone. I'ma wait for this plane to pass by. Wouldn't it be a lot easier if you just had one app instead of like 18 Discord, this, this, blah, blah, blah. So just choose one app. Because honestly, like, they're all the same. You're not really missing out on anything. They're all the same. They all have something you could scroll on. They all have, like, the connections and stuff. They all have that stuff. It's all the same. It's just different apps trying to make money, trying to, like, hook you in. Like, really, all of those social media companies and corporations and apps, they just want you to be a slave to their app. They want you to spend as much time as they possibly can just you being sucked into that, not thinking about anything else in your life. They don't care that your life sucks. They don't care that you feel trapped and suppressed. They want you to suffer. They really do. Because in their little board meetings thing, whatever they do, they literally discuss, okay, how can we make this TikTok button 5% more appealing to click on? How can we make how can we make the algorithm 5% better so viewers will stay on for 30 seconds longer, which as a result will increase to a 5% less churn rate. Like some crazy dumb like statistics like that because they want you to be sucked consumed in these habits so if you delete social medias and only prioritize one app on your phone that's social media if you really can't like just have uninstall all the other apps and just install one social media when you get the urge to do it again because i'm going to be honest you're probably not going to like instantly boom switch and then never go on social media again but 
This will drastically cut the amount of hours you spend on social media. Take back the potential that was stolen from you by all these dumb corporations that don't care about you. They don't care, they just want money. They just want money, 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 reinvest, reinvest, just make it bigger, bigger, more harder to do. And when it gets like literally impossible to quit, like it's ingrained in your phone, this happens, this happens, like it's literally impossible. You'll actually be lucky because you quit it before it became a massive problem. Because it's probably getting worse and worse now. It's getting harder and harder to quit the bad habits. It's getting harder and harder to not go on social media. And if you do this right now, you can actually escape. Be like all of us, all of, like, you. I know you can do it. And all of them, they're, they're going to be left behind. Like, it's honestly kind of sad to think about, like, six billion people, however many people are on social media every time. Like, they're all going to just be left behind. They're not going to know what to do. They're going to be trapped. They're not going to be successful. And there's just going to be more room for us. Because none of them, they don't want to do this. They're like coping like, oh, it's fine to play one hour of video games. It's fine to just scroll on social media a bit like every every hour like while I'm winding down, while I'm waiting for the bus or something. The main picture is if you keep going on social media, you're going to be more consumed and you're going to be like all of them. And I know you don't want to be like that. So the next thing that makes it a lot harder to relapse on social media, spend less time on social media, is to only use social media on your computer. Don't use it on your phone when it's super easy to access. You can literally just do it whenever while you're sitting. Just do it on the computer so you use it with more of a purpose. When you're on your computer, you're probably going to do a little bit more productive things. Maybe not like drastically more productive on your computer. But because it's only on one place and you could only do it at one time, you can't really do it at work. You can't do it when you're at school, that this, at this. It's going to be harder to actually go on social media and spend so much hours of your time wasted into that the next thing to quit your internet addiction and instantly gain so much time in your life is to go outside literally go outside like i'm doing right now clean your room for 20 minutes like do you know what i did literally 20 minutes ago i was vacuuming i was washing the dishes like i don't want to brag or like say i'm like super productive but i just did other things in my life which still helped me and because of that, I was able to do a lot more things in my life. I wasn't just wasting all my hours on social media. Because what time is it right now? It is 11.18 a.m. And I already felt like I've been living for like 20 hours because I've just been doing so much stuff constantly. Like my dopamine isn't like just, you know? Like when you scroll on Instagram for hours, when you just scroll on YouTube for hours, and then you're like, it's 5 p.m. Oh my gosh. And then you have like a whole ex and what is that word? Like existential crisis. <laughs> Existential crisis. I think that's what it is. Like you have one of those when you just realize I just spent so much hours on YouTube. So yeah, fill up your day with things to do, actually do outside in the real world. So like when you do that, you're not gonna spend time on social media. Like that makes sense, right? So do it try doing this when I was at school when I was playing sports when I was doing this in my life doing this like I naturally just didn't spend as much time on social media like think about it if you were to go away in some new country without any internet connection like you would literally just not go on social media because it's literally impossible so make it like it's impossible remove the apps on your phone remove the necessity to do it like remove your phone maybe even like get rid of your phone for a day give it to someone go outside do other things do other things with the free time that you magically gained and another thing you can do which i've been doing recently and it's so beneficial which nobody really wants to do but if you do it it'll improve your life like a hundred times i promise it's to create stuff and instead of consume stuff so instead of just watching YouTube videos over and over, what if you just created things that you actually like doing? Seriously, what if you just created memes? Like, it doesn't have to be some like self-improvement thing. What if you just created memes instead of just watching memes? And then if you do that for like two months, like boom, you're making some money from like ad revenue or whatever. Like, wouldn't that just be so much better? Like you could literally make the memes that you like and then 
publish the memes, get like people liking you, liking the channel, and then just you make money from that in a while, like that's so worth it. And nobody wants to do it like, oh, it's too hard, it'll take too long. Do it right now. Start creating stuff instead of consuming stuff. Like you can make some little TikTok things. Like I don't care as long as you're creating stuff instead of consuming. Don't like consume and be like, oh, I'm just researching. I'm just researching what's a good meme, like what's a good meme format. Like you already know. You already know like what works well, what doesn't really work. Because you've been on the app for like 10,000 hours. If not way, way, way more. So just pick a app that you use a lot. I use YouTube a lot, so I just created stuff on YouTube. And just make things that you would like, you would find interesting. Because there's a super high chance that a million other people would like that same thing. A million other people wouldn't like, would would not mind seeing that meme and like actually like and subscribe, follow to your channel. Seriously, it's such a good idea and nobody really wants to do this and I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Because bro, like imagine if, I, I when I used to play video games all the time, imagine if I just made a YouTube channel, like just me playing Fortnite and then I got a creator code and then I got monetized. Like I would easily be making like a thousand dollars, bro. Like per month, I'm not even joking. Because when you just get the views, when you get the momentum, it, you just inst instant growth. Like I don't know why I did not do this sooner, bro. Like ah, I missed out on so many opportunities. So don't miss out on another opportunity again. Actually try creating stuff instead of consuming stuff. Another thing that you should probably know about social media is that the first hurdle, the first attempt to quit social media and actually escape that freaking dumb distraction that so many people have but can't escape, it's the hardest to do it when it's the first time you're doing it. Like the first hurdle is the hardest one to get over with. And when you do that, you can do all the other hurdles that happen in your life. Think of it like some like big thing like that. And then like all the other ones are just like this. And because you did that one, if you just get all the motivation and like happiness to do this one, then all of these ones would be so much more easier and you'll see all the benefits. Because when you start like living your life, actually like having a life and you stop going on social media so much, when you see the benefits of doing that, you're like, why would I go back? Why would I go back to watching even more social media when I go outside and have fun, enjoy myself, create stuff, make money. When I do that, instead of just consuming, 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 wasting all my potential and distracting myself, when you do that, you're like, why would I go back? Like really, why would you go back to watching shorts and stuff when you've been being so successful and making so much money and you know, all the crazy things that everybody wants? Like, why would you go back? So do that first hurdle. If you do this first hurdle, like it would be almost pretty much impossible to go back here, really. So just boom, bam, 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 boom, boom. I'm gonna be honest, it also requires some amount of discipline and energy to actually do it. Like not everything is gonna be some crazy magic trick to instantly cure world hunger and you know, solve life. But it is gonna require some discipline. You're gonna really have to like not want to do it. You're gonna have to have a reason to not do it. So. Actually, yeah, think about why Why do you want to quit social media? You want to get more successful. You want to do this, 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 this. When you envision all of these things about being successful, but just having so much time in your day to do things, being able to go outside like I am right now, being able to experience stuff, create stuff, make money. When you imagine yourself doing those things, like why would you not do it? So envision yourself doing those things and then it'll just give you more motivation to actually do it. It's, it's so great when you just actually quit video games. I mean, social media, I know it's tough to quit social media, but it's so worth it, bro. Like eight hours every single day, just boom, free time, eight hours of your life, bro. And when you start not going on social media, not going on the internet so often, your days feel like five times longer, bro, I swear. Like I've been doing so much stuff today and it's only 11. Like, it's only 11.28. 11.28 a.m. on a Friday. I have so much more time to do. I'm on break. I'm on winter break. Let's go. Winter break. No school. I get to do everything. Like, I did all my homework, all that stuff in an hour, 30 minutes. 
30 minutes for me to complete all my homework and do this vacuum, wash the dishes, clean my room a bit, dust this, 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 you know, do all that crazy, amazing stuff in real life. And I didn't have to watch some social media. And I'm not going to, because why would I? My day is so great. It's going amazing right now. So it really, try this, bro. Uninstall the apps on your phone. If you just want to use one social media and occasionally like talk to me and actually get some value from other people, join my Discord community because I'll be in there sometimes. I'll be giving you value because like I don't I don't want to be in there 24 seven because like I'm I'm just consuming social media all the time, right? So I'm gonna be in there sometimes. We can hop on a call if you want. I'll I can DM you as well too because why not? Like I'm just like that. I want to get close to you. I want to talk to you. I want to, I really want to help you like not go on social media because when I did it, it, I just felt amazing. Like it, I can't put it in better words, I guess. Like I wish I had a video like this one or two years ago when I was just scrolling on social media, watching countless hours of YouTube videos and forgetting everything about it. Like that's, that's something I just didn't say in this video so far. Like you just forget 95% of the things that you watch on social media so 95 percent of the hours like imagine you spent a hundred thousand hours in your whole lifetime on social media and you only remember five thousand hours of it if like maximum five thousand hours like i don't like i can't even imagine five thousand hours of me doing anything so probably like way less than that so vid like social media is just an empty void in our minds. Just this black hole of time that was just sunk and it just gets bigger and bigger, but we can actually stop this. We can stop this from happening because if we go outside, if we do things in real life, actually improve ourselves like we know we can because we know we're better than all of them. No, nobody wants to do this. Everyone else's black hole is getting bigger and bigger with all this time seeping out and just getting wasted. We can actually do this and start shrinking this black hole and expand it with great things that we do in our life. So yeah, enough with the motivational stuff. This is this nice view outside. So yeah, like social media, right? Who wants to go on that when we could just go outside and actually live life and be social in real life? Because social media made people less social. So if you found this video helpful or interesting, you found the right channel, bro. You really did, man. Click this video right here subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos like these to try to help you because I just love posting videos and hopefully you like my videos and get something out of it. So like this video if you liked it. Join my Discord community. If you want, like I don't care if you don't because you want to take a break from social media. That's completely understandable. But if you just want to talk to me, if you want to get closer, if you're trying to quit it, you know, like make it reasonable. So yeah, I'll see you later, bro. Peace. You got this.